Hi, this is David Swanson in Charlottesville, Virginia, in the United States of America, with a message of appreciation and support and encouragement to those gathering for peace in Seoul, South Korea, on December 23rd. Uh, I am the director of World Beyond War, which is an organization with members in over 150 countries, and I am the campaign coordinator for RootsAction.org, an online organization with over a million active members, most of them in the United States. Uh, and I want to convey this message on behalf of those organizations, uh, as well as other organizations and, and friends and allies that I work with. Uh, we are all very concerned uh, of the role the United States government, the United States president, the United States military is playing on the peninsula in Korea. Um, we, uh, at least speaking for myself, I am deeply sorry for the history of over a half century uh, of U.S. militarism, uh, mass killing and weaponization and armament and opposition to peace uh, in Korea, uh, including what's been done to Jeju Island. Uh, I am part of, and World Beyond War is part of a new coalition that you can learn about at noforeignbases.org that will be holding a conference in Baltimore, Maryland in the United States uh, January 12th to 14th and seeking to build alliances uh, and to collaborate and assist uh, allies in the struggle to close foreign military bases uh, around the world, uh, the vast majority of which are, of course, U.S. foreign military bases, uh, including in South Korea. Um, if you can let us know how we can help, what else we can do, uh, it would be greatly appreciated. What would be most useful uh, for us to tell people in the United States and to tell the U.S. government? Uh, we have created a People's Peace Treaty that you can find at rootsaction.org where over 20,000 people in the United States uh, have said that they want to make peace with North Korea. Uh, regardless of what the U.S. government wants to do, and many thousands more have signed the same thing on other websites. Uh, we've created numerous campaigns lobbying the U.S. Congress, uh, and there are bills uh, in Congress not going anywhere, but bills uh, that could go somewhere to create a, a, a non-first-use policy uh, for nuclear weapons in the United States to forbid the president uh, from using nuclear weapons without Congress, to forbid the president from spending a dime on war in North Korea. Uh, you know, this sort of legislation needs to move forward. Uh, and, you know, the possibility of us working together uh, more strongly and creating uh, a bigger megaphone on both sides of the ocean uh, you know, is, is something we need to work on uh, as quickly as possible. Um, the idea of, of a truce for the Olympics uh, is very encouraging. Uh, and should the United States comply with it and, and, and thereby, even accidentally, uh, meet the requirements uh, of North Korea for sitting down and negotiating, uh, that will be a huge step forward. So we will be promoting that idea uh, to the extent uh, we are able as well. Um, the, uh, you may have seen that a long list of retired U.S. generals and admirals are urging the President of the United States not to use war in North Korea. Uh, we hope to amplify that message, uh, and we hope that the U.S. President hears it, um, and we hope that the U.S public understands that the people of South Korea, like the people of North Korea and like ourselves, do not want war. Keep doing what you're doing. Congratulations. Peace.